Hey there guys, it's Silas and welcome to Fairy Tale Fights. Yes, I saw this in my local second hand shop and I just had to own it. Because of one line on the back of the box which reads Bloody Crazy Salami Violence. I like salami and I like violence, so I thought, why the hell not? Let's see what this game has to offer, apart from creepy flying men. Ah, oh, Red Riding Hood. With the Vorpal Blade, apparently. Nice blunderboss. The world doesn't see enough of those anymore, the blunderbuss. Oh, she's so sad she didn't get to slice them up. Oh. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Who just violated the golden goose. This is very cutscene. Very cutscene indeed. So stealing this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> Snow White. <laughs> mm. I love these animations, the way they're introducing all these characters is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the Naked Emperor! <laughs> Look at their faces! This is brilliant! Well, it's been a while, I haven't actually done any gameplay, so that's one mark off. Yes, flee, peasants! Flee from the Emperor's penis! Okay. So what do you do? Hey! All these characters that no one wants. Uh huh. But they will come see this guy. Okay, so I'm finally in gameplay. Uh, age jump. Yes, that's me. Alright, what's this? Character select. Red Riding Hood, The Naked Emperor, Snow White, or Jack of Beanstalk fame. You know what? Please tell me he assaults them with his penis. Okay, so I'm now the Naked Emperor. Okay, the camera doesn't follow the character very well. So far there's been a lot of fairy tale and not many fights. What's this? Option square. Why can't I do some fighting? It's supposed to be called fairy tale fights, not fairy tale fuck around. Apparently you do kill things, eventually. And I need 2,500 something to upgrade my statue. 
Again, please, just say the Statue of the Giant Penis. You know that's what we all want, really. What's this one? Quest mode, here we go, here we go. Chapter 1, On the Trail. Uh, we'll go with Intermediate, that's normal. Friendly Fire on, because let's face it, I don't have any friendlies. Goldilocks is suffering from porridge withdrawal. Someone has stolen the bear's magical porridge kettle and they say only a hero can get it back. <laughs> really? <laughs> Some of the quotes this thing is throwing up are brilliant. I've missed a few, but I'm sure you can read them in the video. Being good is not the same as being nice. <laughs> Alright, so what's the, how does the quest mode work? Loading time is a bit of an ass. Okay, Goldilocks is uh, pretty fucked up. Magic porridge cow belongs to the three bears have been stolen. Only a hero can get back in time for desserts. Well, I can't let them go without dessert, can I? So we're gonna go. Okay, so we've got to follow the linear path. Ooh. Oh, the right stick controls your weapon. Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay. Got a kind of slap thing on on the B button. Y and X, as far as I can see, don't do anything. Bumpers don't do anything. Left trigger blocks. Right trigger does nothing. But your main combo attack is controlled with the right stick. That's not going to be difficult to control. Beat the shit out of anything. Yes, I can. <laughs> Nice! Our first kill! Innocent bystander. Alright. Oh, I'm guessing they're, they're save points. Oh, hello, Woodsman. Lumber Bomb! Here we go! Naked Emperor vs. Lumber Ball! What? Click that much, stick around! Dog absolutely. Okay, the big button kind of like to force them back a bit. Take a left target, that's Look at all this jam on the floor. This isn't floor, this is fucking jam. Oh dear, I have a grave. Magic barrier. Disappeared after defeating Lumber Bob. Yeah, apparently, for all the good this game has in it, there's a lot of fun. Let my 
things, and I need like 2,500 of those to upgrade my statue. <laughs> Don't tell me I'll pick the worst character straight off the bat. There's no way in hell this guy can have no weapons for the entire game. Oh, that's cool. Hamster wheel. Hamster power. There we go. We're inside the castle. We've got the castle. What the hell are you? Lumber Ben. Oh, okay, you've got an axe, that's not cool. You've got an axe, I've got essentially Kung Fu. Come here, Lumber Ben. That'll do. Oh, there's no jam, it's all getting washed down the river. I, mean, I can see why they chose the right stick for the combat, but good intentions don't necessarily win here. They wanted the idea of uh, 3D combat and that. Okay, how do I pick that up? Clearly a weapon. I have a stick. I have a stick. And apparently I'm hitting myself in the face with it. Mind you, that is kind of appropriate for the naked emperor. He is dumb as dirt. Right, so I've got my stick. Now I've got to find where to go. Because, again, you have no control over the camera. Aha! Totally by accident, but don't nonetheless. Oh, I was gonna kill that squirrel. Alright, who's my next lumber guy? If it's Lumber Bill, we'll know we will know we found Bill and Ben. That'll be kinda weird. Tango fairy tale, but the kids know them just the same as any other character. Okay, so apparently the Emperor is immune to water. Sorry, allergic to water, and I've lost my stick! Do I want you to lose your stick? That's not cool. Just for that, I'm taking it out on whatever this thing is. Dissolved. Die! The stupid river cost me my stick! You can fuck off and all. No one survives first contact with the Emperor. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna kick the book open. That's kind of a neat idea. That is kind of cool. What does the book say? What does the book say? Some language I can't read. This is brilliant. Uh, I think that's surprised me the most. This is a game on the Xbox 360 and it's not brown. Look how purple this game is. If there is some brown, but it's not all brown, or grey, or boring. Piss off! Go on, explode. Explode. Let him have it. Three, two, one. Boom, bitches! Take it in the face. Ah, I have your axe. 
Oh my god! Okay, that's pretty badass. No, I don't want the stick, I want the axe. Yup. No, not the club. Axe, thank you. I'm gonna see if I can do that again just to show you exactly what it did, because I don't think I had it on screen long enough for it to count. Slicey, slicey, see, look! You've got that kind of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance multi slice mode come up on the side, that's brilliant. What's that? Oh, it's just a stick. That's just a stick. See, now I'm getting wet, but this is getting better. Not making the game any easier, but you know. Oh my god, this bloody dismemberment, this is brilliant. Yeah, it's Spear the Emperor's new axe! Haha! <laughs> 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 you hit Lumber Bob and Lumber... Lumber Bill, or whatever your name is. Lumber Ben, was it? <laughs> yeah, take it in the face! There we go! Right in the face! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this game officially just got awesome. I can forgive the controls, I can forgive the stupidity, I can forgive the overly long cutscenes. Were you able to slice up fairy tale characters like that? Sorry, that just sells winner to me. Right, we're changing that for a saw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've completely forgotten what we're supposed to be doing. I'm just having too much fun slicing guys up. I'm gonna slice you up. I'm gonna slice you up. Oh, it's Lumber Pete! Who apparently forgot to wear a shirt. You know, wearing a shirt in the battle is not a good It's generally a good idea. Oh no, no, I'm brave. Oh my god, my grave's got really ostentatious, look at that! Oh great, he gets a f***ing gun! Give him my sword back! Ha! Eat it! Eat it all! This game is insane! It's really, really insane! I'm trying to get the hang of this now. This is actually getting good. I don't know if you noticed, but there was a guy just floating on the fire over there. Ten rounds on a gun or the sword. I think we're going to stick with the sword, thank you. So as fun as guns are, you don't, I don't think you get the visceral slicing that you do with this particular weapon. No, clubs are no fun. <sighs> Why I never joined one. Really, that was the entire chapter? Let's return to the village. Oh, Tailville, sorry. I hope that I puff, she just cut my leg off. <laughs> I love this game. I absolutely love this game. I can't believe this was only a quid. I've already had a pound's worth of entertainment just from the very stars of it. Right, let's go change character. Oh, wait a minute. There we go, statue upgraded. I appear to be some kind of fish monstrosity. We're going to have the sculptor executed. Right, let's change character a second. See if there's any difference or it's all pretty much just the same. Right. Let's go with Red Riding Hood because we saw she had a massive knife before. And 
and let's go and do another chapter because, quite frankly, this is amazing. Oh my god, I don't know if it's true, but if it is, that's a bit brilliant. If that statue is basically, and the more you upgrade it, becomes more like the character you're playing, but if you've played multiple characters, can you imagine if it becomes some kind of freaky hybrid? Right, quest mode. Chapter 2. The Path of the Lumberjack. Let's do this. Yeah, the reason it has a friendly fire option, there is co-op in this game. And I can imagine that getting pretty damn crazy, especially if you... Especially if you're both playing late at night after a few beers. There's going to be a few arguments, you know. To be or not to be. The bun. It's getting hot in here. The naked emperor. <laughs> okay. It's a bit of a dated reference, but works for me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's so put me back at the start of the stage. What the hell? Don't tell me I've got to go all the way from the start of the chapter just because I went back to get a different character. That kind of sucks. And yeah, you don't try and have the Kung Fu. That's a somewhat wanky way of doing things. Well, at least get to pick a weapon from the start now. No, just... Don't tell me I've got to fight all those lumberjacks again. Well, you're still alive, you innocent bystanding pig. Yeah, take it. Spread your jam around. Yeah, it would seem so. <laughs> yeah, you do! So the only way to play this game is to play the entire thing at once. That's a bit shitty. So I think, in all fairness, I'm going to have to leave it here because I can't show you chapter 2 because I'm going to beat chapter 1 again. <laughs> So what can I say about Fairy Tail Fight? It is it's hilarious. When you can play as the naked emperor slicing people up with a sword, a sword, and then get that where you slice them, low vision in the corner, that's brilliant. But the fact that you have to do this crap all the time, the fact that you can only do the quest mode if you do all of this in order and never go back. I wonder how that works if you turn the if you turn the Xbox off. I'm not gonna test that. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna play lots more Fairy Tail Fight. Just to spread the jam. That guy is still creepy. So, until I see you all again, I've been Salas. She's apparently been Red Riding Hood. And we will see you next time.